Hallelujah, my blessed people of God. Good afternoon, good evening, depends on the location you have. And I thank God on my sin, I bless God, the King of kings, the Lord of Lords. My blessed people of God, our God is so wonderful, our God is so good. May his name be praised forever in the name of Jesus Christ. My people of God, I just want to read this Bible verse, Matthew, Mark chapter 16. I read it three days ago, Mark chapter 16, and I read verse 15 to 16. So I want to continue. 17. At the grace of God. The word of God is powerful. The word of God corrects us. The word of God makes us to live a righteous life. There are things that we don't know, but everything that we need to know about ourselves, about how to live as a Christian, as a believer, on this earth is the word of God. So the more we are reading it, the more it cleans us. Remember, the word of God washes us, sanctify us. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 14, or 17, verse 17, I think so. It says, sanctify them with the word. So the word of God sanctify, it washes us, it cleans us. The word of God corrects us, it reproves us, it makes us to know the things that we are doing, if it is right or no, that is why the word of God is very powerful. We need to study the word of God daily. It's very important. It's our spiritual food, the way we eat physical food. So the word of God is the breath of God. What come out from the Lord is speak. It's a spoken word from God. So we need to study. We need to be addicted to it daily. And I pray that God Almighty will help us all in Jesus' name. Amen. My blessed people of God, before we continue this word of God, please let's pray. Almighty Father, eternal rock of Fiji, Lord, I thank you. Everlasting Father, Almighty King, Lord, I thank you for all you have been doing. I appreciate you for this grace, this opportunity, this privilege that you are giving to me and to us all, the Christians, the believer. Lord, I thank you for our life in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for everything. Lord, your word is coming for. Lord, may you teach me your word. Holy Spirit, teach me your word. Use my mouth to speak. I don't know anything. Father, in any way we have sinned against you, Lord, may you have mercy upon us. Forgive me and forgive our families, our loved ones, all of us, any way we have sinned against you because our righteousness is a filthy life before you, Almighty Father. Have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Those are the words message now. And later, I cover all of us with the precious blood of Jesus. We are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. My blessed people of God. Amen. The word of God said in Mark chapter 16, I read 17, by the grace of God. Amen. He said, and let me start for say, he that believe and baptize shall be saved. But he that believes none shall be condemned. Okay? That is why I have stopped. Now, verse 15, 17 says, it says, And this son shall follow them that believe. Hallelujah. This signs, you can see there's a science, there's a power, there's authority, there's grace, there's fire, there's presence, there's power. That follow them. He said, These signs shall follow them. For those that are believe, my blessed people of God, it's for those that are believe, not those that did not believe. Remember, the Bible said, Those that believe shall be attacked, shall be saved. But those that don't believe shall be damned, which shall be condemned. So now, it's telling us that those that believe, you and me, by the grace of God, that believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is, the, is God. That those that believe, he said, the sons shall, this sons shall follow them. I continue reading. In my name, they shall cast out devils. You see? So those that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they shall cast a devil. Because the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 9 to 11, he said, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, everyone shall bow. So when you measure that name, every knee shall bow. The powers of darkness, the rulers of darkness, set up. We trouble. So every knee shall bow. Now it's talking for those that are believe. That is what I'm saying. If you are not believe Jesus Christ, you need to believe. You need to believe in him so that these signs shall follow you. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. He said, in their mind, they shall cast as devil, and they shall speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. They shall speak with new tongues. Verse 18. Say, and they shall take up serpent, and even they drink a deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Hallelujah. This is where I want to stop for now. You see, for those that believe, my blessed people of God, he said, shall not all that continue. I said, they shall be, he said, they shall by hands on the sick. They shall, no, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall, and they shall receive. You see, they shall lay hands on the sick. They shall receive. This means the signs, those that believe, they say signs that follow them, they will have authority. They will pray for those that are sick. They will have power to cast out devil. They will have power to cast out demon by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when the, when, 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 when the, when the child toppled upon serpent, upon scorpion, I'm going to Luke chapter 10, verse 19. No, when they prayed for the sick, the sick shall receive their healing. Those are the power. Those are the authority that is added to those that believe. Those that believe Jesus Christ shall cast out demon. My blessed people of God. If you are not, if you have not received Jesus Christ, come and receive Jesus Christ so that you will have this authority. So this authority belongs to those believers that believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, true righteousness and holiness. So I'm inviting you to Jesus Christ. Remember in the book of, in, 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 in the Bible, when Apostle Paul was, the all those other demons, they see how the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ were casting at demons. No, all those people, they see it. I mean, they, they went to go and also cast. What the, 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 the demon said then, Jesus, I know. Apostle Paul, I know. Who are you? He beat them. Share their clothes. Why? Because they are not believe. They are not sound. They are not with Jesus. So those that are with Jesus, they have power. They have authority. My people of God, all believers that are believing Jesus Christ have authority. They have authority to cast demons, to pray for the sick, to chop on the poor serpent or scorpion. They have power. They have fire. When they pray, it shall come to pass. They have power to decree and declare. So. If you have not received Jesus Christ, you don't have this authority. It's people that no believer in the world, they don't have this authority. They can't mention the name of Jesus Christ and answer. No, they don't have this authority because they don't accept it. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. So I'm out introducing Jesus Christ to you today. If you have not received Jesus Christ, receive Jesus Christ so that you'll be saved. He said, those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Come to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is so sweet. He's the way. He will lead you to eternity. John chapter 3 verse 60. Jesus Christ loved the whole world. He came to give us everlasting life. Because of that, he came to die for us. He's God himself. But you have me to save. Please, I beg you people of God, you that are not know Jesus Christ, come to Jesus. You will have this power. You don't need to be running up or down. Be looking for those those, 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 uh, those, those people that are not, those other worshippers, those priests, satanic priests, demonic priests. No. You come to Jesus. You begin to decree, begin to ask, begin to pray, begin to live a righteous life. Accept Jesus Christ. Just believe with your mouth and with your heart. Jesus Christ, I know you are God. I know you are the Son of the living God. I accept you as my Lord, as my personal Savior. I know you live. I know you die for me from there. With, confess with your mind, your heart. He will receive you. Come to Jesus. And I pray for us we that have received Jesus, we that have believed, we will continue to manifest the power of God. This sense shall follow us in the name of Jesus. I pray for us. This sense shall follow. You see, the sense shall follow the, those that believe. That power, that authority shall follow us in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is very powerful. For those that believe, there's a privilege. My people of God, we that believe in Jesus Christ, there's a great privilege. We should not take this privilege granted. We should not take this grace of God granted. We should hold it tight. We should live a life that we please Him. So that we, at last, all those manifestations is for hurt. It don't guarantee us for heaven. You just to manifest it on earth because God wants to use, want to manifest itself through you, want to manifest itself through me, want to glorify itself through me and through you. So it's just earthly possession, but a righteous life, holy life, that is what will take us to an eternal life. So don't let this gift that we have make us to know that we are in heaven, we are not here there. But it's good for us to manifest it because the Lord is going to ask God, the gift that I gave you, how do you use it? Use your gift to glorify God. And I pray from today, God, the Lord, 
will use us to manifest his glory in the name of Jesus. The Lord will use me and you to manifest his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will use us as his vessel. He will use us as a battle as he will use us to manifest, to, to dispopulate the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this gift, for this grace. Lord, help us not to take this grace granted. Help us not to fall. Help us, O oh Lord, not to go back. Increase us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Blessed people of God, God bless you. I thank God for this word. I pray may this word dwell into our heart. May the Lord make this word to go deep into our heart so that we can be able to do what is right or what to, how to please the Lord. The Lord will help us to please Him in the name of Jesus. Have a nice day, my blessed people. It's me. Your beloved sister, Prophetess Mercy, you knew me. People of God, I really appreciate you. Those that watch my channel, those that those are uh, comment, those that like, God bless you all. The Lord Almighty is our rewarder. He will reward us all in Jesus' name. God bless you, people of God. Have a nice day. Shalom. Thank you, my heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. May your name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father.